Yo, 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 guys. It is Old Man G here, back again um, with a match for you. It's not live. It's not live, um, but I will be in the chat um, interacting. Um, but yeah, uh, this is just this is pre-recorded. Sorry, it's a bit late. Um, I've not posted for a while because, well, for two reasons. One, been busy with exams, but more importantly, I need a break from Manchester United Football Club and all the hoo-ha that was going on, to be honest. Um, but we're back, um, unfortunately, um, and I can already sense that there's a lot of um, pessimism around Manchester United. I think Solskjaer believes that he can turn around. I don't think he will, but the proof is in the pudding, you know. So, um, but before we get into, if you need to try them to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter. We are United, United X. Smash that notification button. Play this United, United news and then some, and also consider subscribing to my second channel, Red Marvel, where I post a lot of. Um, movie reviews, entertainment news, and I react to it and all the rest of it. So head over there. Link is going to be in the description. So let me just get the cat out of the room for a second here. Um, I'm I'm not shocked that Ollie's still here because I think I said at the start of the season, I said, and I said several times, and I think a lot of people didn't believe me, was that the board's um, Goal. We don't know what the board's goal was. And for me, the board's goal was always that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would, um, would get top four. That was the goal. Get top four and progress in the Champions League, you know, maybe potentially get one of the domestic trophies. For me, that was the goal from the board. I think a lot of people thought that... Um, because we signed Ronaldo, Varane, and um, Sancho, that it meant we, uh, the goal was to be to challenge for a title. I didn't think so, predominantly because when you look at the nature of those signings and when you look at um, how we got them, it, 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 they, they weren't really planned. You know, if they were planned signings, then you can make the case, but they weren't planned. We were never going to get Ronaldo. It's just so happened that he became available, but there was no plan to get him. That's the first thing. Two, the um, Sa Sancho, we were always going to get him. We just wanted to get a, a, a cheaper price. You know, it was two years, so expected signing. And then free Varane, again, similar thing. Real Madrid were offering him a contract extension. He refused. He wants a new challenge. And the reality is that there was no other team because Chelsea and PSG and the like had already got their defender sorted. You know, Liverpool didn't, didn't need him. PSG didn't need him. Chelsea didn't need him. Obviously, he was leaving Madrid. Bayern didn't need him. You know, so really, United were really the only team I'd say that was in for him. So when you look at, like I said, all the signs that we've got, they were not planned tactical signings. So why I say this? Because um, whatever you think about Oli, at the end of the day, you know, if he is going to get sacked, it's going to be a combination of the board and the basically the players turning on him. Now, it sounds like the players are potentially beginning to turn on him. I'm not entirely sure but that he does have backing in, in the board. And, you know, they're going to look at the table and say the reality is that even though we've been terrible, Manchester United are still only nine points from Chelsea in first place. Like nine points is nine points is not a lot, considering that, like, say, a team like Juventus is 16 points from first, and people still think that Juventus is going to win Syria. Um, and I make that point because that's first place. That's not even fourth place, which I think is probably less. I think it might be three, three or four. So if that's the case, then really, you know, I don't see if 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 Oli goes on a run, um, and by run, he's going to beat what he's gonna to have to beat Watford, he's gonna to have to beat Chelsea, he's gonna to have to beat Arsenal. I don't see him getting sacked, at least until the end of the season. Um, but it's gonna be a big ask to beat Watford, Arsenal and Chelsea, and especially because Watford actually are, are unpredictable and play good. I think people think that we're going to easily beat Watford. Um, I, I don't think it's going to... I, I think it's going to be a very difficult game, especially based on the line that you can see next to me. I'll talk about in a second. Um, but also, again, has he lost the dressing room? Are the players playing for him? We don't know. We're hearing things from Lingard. Obviously, Pogba's out till January, so he's not there. Does that mean that Van der Beek make, make a cameo? Who knows? I, I definitely think that Pogba being injured, Van der Beek does come in. Do I think he will start ahead of Freddie McTominay? No, I do not. I, I, I do not. Um, I just don't see that happening. Um, I, I mean, and that's the thing. I just don't see, you know, the the thing that I that is sad is that like, what's the change? You know, it's a change. He's going to go to a back three. 
and persist with that. Certainly against Watford, that's a bad idea. Is the change going to bring in new personnel? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But um, that's all I'm going to say about the whole Ollie thing. Um, obviously, there's rumours about Brendan Rodgers and Zidane, and I'll maybe make a separate video about that. So I'm probably going to address that maybe after the game. But that's that's all I'm talking about. I'm going to be focusing on it. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, let's go on the predicted start and level, I think. Um, obviously, De Gea will go in goal. De Gea along with wan have actually had semi-decent starts, to be honest. Um, so De Gea will go in goal. I'm assuming Dean Henderson is going to leave because um, he's just not going to get any opportunities this season. He's really not. Um, you can see the... And this is the thing, whatever you say about... Um, and maybe it's social it's the board, I don't know, but, you know, you know, we keep some of these players. Like, you know, we could have... If we were a properly run club, you know, we should have said, listen, okay, De Gea is going to be the number one. You know, you sell Dean Henderson for maybe, you can get a good sign for maybe 15, 20 million. You sell Lingard for the same. So you've already got 30 million, maybe 45 million there. Um, possibly maybe even Dallow, you know, and then suddenly you've got enough to buy a defensive midfielder, but the club won't do that. But anyway, um, De Gea obviously will be in goal. wan Basaka left, left back, although Dallow might want to try and, and push his way in. Um, I'm not sure how that will work, to be honest. Um, I just don't think it will. Um, Lindelof and, Mag and Maguire is, 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 is where I'm always worried, especially against strong um, atta attackers that will bully them. And Watford do tend to... But we've beaten them when they were previous times, but, you know... They, we, they kept on. They, I remember them bullying. Although Troy Deeney's not doesn't play for them anymore, they, they bullied our defense. Um, and if it's going to be Maguire and Lindelof, which I expect it will be, because I don't think he's going to go to back three, he's going to drop by. People go out by for the the uh, on goal. I think is fascinating when he basically was our man of that ma match um, against. We don't win. We don't beat Atalanta if if if, if by is it in goal. And people just you know, I, it, it's it it, it astounds me. Um, how we, um, you know, that um, people just they just ignore that and then think it's the one performance and then give Harry Maguire just a pass for the whole season. It's it's just strange. It's, it's it really really is strange. We we conceded fifteen, I think, up to fifteen goals from the centre back, and he's still and he still has he's still immune to criticism. It's it's bizarre. Um, but yeah, it's going to be Maguire Lindelof, unfortunately, um, which already is giving me a ne negative uh, on this game. Luke Shaw, to be honest, I actually think Luke Shaw hasn't been great even. I think he should be dropped for Tellez, but it's going to be Shaw. So you're going to have the English bias, um, even though I think that Tellez and Bai should 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 come in here. Um, but they're, they're going to play them, even though they've not been that great. Um, in the midfield, again, likewise, Scott McTominay and Fred will come in. I think that with Pogba being out, Van der Beek will start to get more opportunities, um, especially if, you know, in an ideal world, we can kill off this game early on. I don't think it will happen, but if we if we get some goals, if we score, you know, then I wouldn't be surprised if, say, if Van der Beek comes on for some good game time and really can come onto this game. Um, obviously, if 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 a if, a, um, if I have a Fred McTominay. Um, get injured, then suddenly Van der Beek comes into that as well. So um, I suspect the Van der Beek will be coming in, maybe even starting, to be honest, because I, I I would be very surprised if he if he goes with Matic, Fred and um, Bruno. Um, I don't actually think that that's, to be honest, I would prefer that. Um, a Matic, Fred and Bruno midfield Um I would prefer more than a McTominay and and and, and Matic or McTominay or basically anyone with McTominay to be honest. Um, McTominay and Van der Beek is is actually okay, um, but um, yeah, that's what I would think. But I think this is what he's going to go with. Um, Bruno obviously in the cam, and I think the front is going to be interesting because he's got to get Cavani in this team. You know, Cavani is apparently fit; he's recovered. You got to throw Cavani in. Cavani. You know, Ronaldo needs Cavani. Ronaldo needs that type of support striker with him. Even though Cavani's out at number nine and we played, and I'm going to be honest, we, we often played better with him as a focal number nine. We need Cavani in this um, in, 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 in this team. So we need Cavani to help Ronaldo. Um, you know, the only thing I guess you query is that do you want to risk him getting an injury for the, the Villarreal game? Because if I'm perfectly honest, the Villarreal game is much more important 
much, much more important. Um, and, um, you know, if we, if United lose to Villarreal, it, I think it's pretty much your Europa League. Um, if I remember in the uh, United are top, I think they have, okay, we beat, yeah, we beat Villarreal. We beat, so we, yeah, so we beat them. Um, and we drew Atalanta. We've got seven points. Um, and Atalanta have, I think they also have seven points because they drew with Villarreal, drew with, oh no, so they have five points because they drew with Villarreal and they drew with um, United. They lost to United and then they beat them. So they've got five. Hey, Villarreal. Sorry. Um, I think also Villarreal. Uh, how many points did Villarreal have? Villarreal drew with Atalanta, lost to United, um, beat um, but beat um, Young Boys twice. They've got seven points as well. So United just basically hint that they're fine. So um, it's kind of important um, that United get something from the video game. If they lose to Villarreal, um, then you're on, you're in the unfortunate scenario where because I'm I think I think United will be Young Boys Old Trafford, so I think we'll have we'll get up ten points. Um, but you know, if we lose to Villarreal in Spain, then you're going to have the unfortunate scenario of because um, Atlanta will beat um, will will probably beat um, uh. Uh, we'll probably beat actually if I got this right because Atalanta will because Atalanta have five points don't they they will they will probably beat young boys still have eight points um oh wait maybe hmm that's an interesting one because they would have to yeah, of two games, Atalanta would have to. So I'm, I'm thinking about this. Let me know in the comments. I think Atalanta would have to beat Villarreal. Um, yeah, I got this right. Because they beat Young Bro and they drew. They drew, yeah. And if they beat... Um, yeah, because if they beat... Um, if they beat uh, Young Boys and they'll have eight points, um, then um, they, yeah, they still, still need to beat Villarreal. Okay, that, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, geez, if we lose to Villarreal, I think we'll beat Young Boys at Old Trap, but I think that's fine with 11 men, I think we're, and we would have done at the start, but for the red card, we'll have 10 points. It's just that I think 10 points would mean, would probably make, if we lose to Villarreal, I think 10 points would probably mean we'd... Um, We'd finish second, I think. I think if, essentially the, the Villarreal game versus is it's much because I think we should be okay, provided that we at least win one of our games. I'm going to run out directly to the Champions League here, but I think it's kind of important because, to be honest, um, you know, I think the Villarreal game is much more important than than this Watford game. If I'm perfectly honest, because I don't want to play in the Europa League, and at the end of the day, if we can get a point from if we get someone from Villarreal. Great, awesome, we're good. Um, if we don't and we lose to Villarreal, it might be a bit a bit problematic, but we'll see. So, but forgive my ramble. Anyway, let's just quickly round up with the score predictions, guys. Um, yeah, I think that um, you know, I think we still have, should have enough to beat Watford. I mean, come on. If we can't beat Watford, then um, then he then he then literally because if they've got Brendan Rodgers on ready. And we're going to lose to Watford, then you know you, you. I mean, he should be sacked anyway. But if you lose to Watford, that's got to be even even more pressure to get to, for him to be sacked. To be honest, you know, I should I I do expect at least a, a dub here, um, and hope that some teams above uh, United will drop points. And at the very least, that will mean that United can at least, at least, at least recover um, somewhat. But the next three weeks are going to be, the next three weeks are basically going to be key and, d and will determine United's season because, you know, we have, we're playing Chelsea and Arsenal who are in really good form right now. Um, and if we lose to those two teams, you can count out, um, uh, obviously the title definitely, but also potentially even top four. 
and we play obviously Villarreal and Young Boys in that period as well. And if we lose both of those games, you know, we're in trouble, we'll be knocked down Champions League. If we lose one of those games, it's a possibility. Who knows? My score prediction, though, I think um, we'll concede because we always do. So be one to Watford. But I think with Ronaldo, I think we've got what, uh, what it takes. I think, I, I, and it's, it sounds, I think a 2 1 to Manchester United is my score prediction. And hopefully that'll be the result. Anyway, guys. Thank you guys for staying with me. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe to Red Devils to Joe. Follow us on Twitter, United X, smash the notification button, play this Manchester United news. Um, and uh, stay tuned for my post-match reaction. Hopefully it's a dub. Have a nice day, everyone. And cheers.